A person's federal income tax liability is based on the income the person receives during the relevant tax year. In Ammond v. Commissioner, we explore what constitutes receipt for tax purposes. J.D. Ammond was a Texas wheat farmer. Each year from 1942 to 1946, Ammond contracted to sell a portion of the year's crop to a buyer in return for payment in January of the following year. For example, in 1944, Ammond orally contracted with Burris Mill and Elevator Company to deliver wheat to Burris in August of 1944 in exchange for payment in January of 1945. Although Burris usually paid sellers within days of receiving a delivery, per the contract it waited until January of 1945 to send Ammond his check. Ammond used the cash basis method of accounting, meaning he recognized income when it was received and expenses when they were paid out. Consequently, when calculating income for tax purposes, Ammond and his wife counted each January payment as income for the year in which Ammond received the relevant check. When the couple's returns for 1944, 45, and 46 were audited, the Commissioner of Internal Revenue objected. He believed that Ammond constructively received the income from each annual sale in the year in which the contract was made, and the income was therefore attributable to that tax year. The Commissioner assessed deficiencies in the Ammons' income taxes for 1944 and 46. The Ammons challenged the Commissioner's determination in the United States Tax Court.